You know it's a long time since you played this game when you misread Hellean Shield as Human Shield. Well, if only I could get a Human Shield for my uh, left arm here and just grab this uh, Grudo and just run through the middle of their camp and uh, they're all like, Oh no, it's a, a bale here! And they're all just like trying to stab at me, but I'm just using her as a Human Shield. Anyway, um, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. The episode where I just walk off into the desert and die of heat exhaustion. Uh, but no, actually, I'm thinking that since it's been so long since I've played this game, I kind of... I kind of want to just, like, try out this uh, quest of, like, the the very the best of the best only they can choose to do this test it it kind of rhymes and works <laughs> the the rhythm is not making any sense whatsoever but yeah the the master sword trial that's that's what i want to do here because no like i don't know about you but uh sometimes i just feel like I haven't played Breath of the Wild in forever, and I just need to play it. <laughs> it's it's a very important thing, and this time, very soon, I'm going to finish this game. It's mostly because I am going to have the power of, like, two Master Swords in one. At least that's what I'm assuming, right? Oh, boy, I forgot the frame rate issues in this area. Because, like, let's just pull out the Master Sword for a second here. Um... 30. Yeah, 30 damage isn't too bad, but like, I do have a lot of 60 weapons. I must dance! Yes, you do, sir. Uh, that's the way I like to dance, is just by uh, swinging my uh, ice sword around. Okay, I think that is kind of the way you're supposed to do it, right? The ice sword is actually similar enough to... Uh, the Master Sword that I, I don't think that the, the great uh, Deku Tree would know. He'd, he'd just think it's the Master Sword, and then I run away and uh, secretly power up this sword? I don't know. There's some sort of grand deception that I would be doing by giving him a, a frosty sword. Let's see what this is all about. I would think that, like, what they should do is that as soon as I come out of this, it just, like, it shows a little kid in an arena. And you think, oh no, that's Link! I, that, I'm, I've traveled back in time! But, no, then it just pans over to you just, like, bludgeoned in the head. It's, it's quite gruesome, actually. To the Blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Hale... Hale oh boy, I can't read quick enough. You presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the Master Sword. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in the ruin. In this illusionary room of sacred mystery, anything can happen. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. All you can obtain here will be lost upon you return to the reality of rooms. With Master Swords, overcome the trial of swords, and reclaim more swords. That's essentially what it's trying to tell me here. <laughs> okay. Because the more swords you get, the more swords you can... Uh... Achieve. I don't even know. But, the, the best thing about this, though, is that, uh, yeah, as I was saying, is that I haven't played this game in, like, forever. <laughs> So, I'm basically relearning uh, everything. Relearning the controls, relearning how to climb trees and stealthily attack these crazy bokoblins. Like solid snake style. Okay, this is a really bad idea in every sense of the word, but... Maybe I should just try to steal uh, some of their stuff. If I get one of their swords, maybe if I, I could even just grab uh, this barrel and attack them that way. But to be fair, I guess I do still have my Sheikah Slate, correct? So that kind of makes things a little bit um, unfair in my advantage. Like I could, I could blow up at least like 
two of them before they'd even realize that I was here. Still, oh no. Solid snake. Hide inside the barrel. Uh oh. See, they still don't know. But they are worshipping their meat more readily now. So I guess they must know something's up. Uh. There we go. Onward to glory! Uh oh. This might not be bad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It might not be bad. Because that. Aww. I gave him a mild inconvenience. Okay, sir. Sir Bacoblin. What skills he got? Okay, yeah. Easy enough. Another thing to note <laughs> when uh, doing all of this thing is that my... I do have a bit of an audio delay. <laughs> I don't think you'd notice it too, too much, really. But, um... Yeah. I, I decided uh, today to do things the old school uh, Glacier Cano way. The seared steak! I'm pretty sure I've already got this before, so I'm not gonna read it. Uh, but... Yeah. The, the old school way of doing things, too, which, uh... Like, I didn't feel like setting up my whole, like, audio stuff. Because, like, holy balls. The way I used to record anything on the Switch, and, well, I mean, still do for the most part. Just kind of exploring the rest of this area before I go on. Uh, never know, there might be something underneath one of these rocks! <laughs> but, uh, like... I have an audio receiver that I have to, like, route all of my audio through so that I can actually have two sources for the audio, like, one that goes to my, uh, TV and one that goes to my computer, and then the power of amazingness happens and I can just listen. It's a very, uh, strange way of describing it, but, uh, the greatest way. Hmm. This, this also needs to be done. Yes. So, do I actually keep my food? No, I do not. Yeah, it's a good thing I did actually uh, go and break these things and have my story of unstories, essentially. It works. Through the power of mushrooms, I will survive this thing. And apples, maybe even an orange that we'll find. I don't think they actually have oranges in this game, but if they did, I'll find them. And I'll force feed this book hoblin with it. That's the the way I'm going to make this a bit more horrifying. The most horrifying of Breath of the Wild to, ooh, techniques that anyone's ever seen. Huh. Yeah, I don't know of a, a good way of attacking a lot of these things, but... I really do like this idea for the Trial of the Sword. I gotta say, because, like... Just having something where you don't have... Oh, no! Any of your stuff, essentially, other than... Uh, your equipment. But, going back to basics... Weapon-wise... Like... You gotta have some sort of, uh, challenge, because I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that, uh, I'm going to destroy Ganon in, like, one hit. That's, that's what's gonna happen with, like, all my weapons. Somehow. Oh, boy! But, uh, yeah. It's, you gotta find the, the secret challenge within the game, which is this. Oh, no. Being able to do things without... Even a piece of armor. Because who needs it? I played most of the game without armor, to be fair. So, there is that. Okay. Yes, sir. Aw. Maybe yeah, I should just, like... He was showing his back to me. I guess that he wanted me to just uh, scratch his back using the power of... Uh, well... Nice, uh, fancy axe, but... Uh, it wasn't meant to be. Actually, I'm going to break through these things, too. All things considered, this woodcutter's axe has actually done me really well. I thought that it would have been, like, mostly breaking by now. But, yeah, I got lots of arrows. 
don't think I have a bow yet, do I? Let's let's just double check the uh, weapon wheel here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely no uh, bow. But I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna find one uh, somewhere around here. Like maybe. Oh no! Oh, there's one, <laughs> just lying on the ground. So like that's the thing is like I should just be paying more attention to my ugh, surroundings. That was actually the hardest thing to fight was actually the the fiery chew jelly. I don't know why, but I always like to call them chew jellies. Despite the fact that, um, I think they're just called chews in general. Because you can choose how delicious the, the jelly becomes. In some way it will make sense. One of these days. Okay. But yeah, because like the chew jelly in general. Gotta have that all uh, Twilight Princess like. You gotta add some sound effects there. <laughs> because as I said, I, I'm having a, a slight sound delay on everything, so... Yeah, it's, uh... You don't have the real sound effects, so you just make them up as you go along. Ah. This is like a magical dance that we're having here, Mr. Chu. Uh-oh. Here's where uh, the bow begins, I guess. I should actually be uh, testing out... Oh! Yeah, I think that the gyros are a little bit more uh, intense on the Switch compared to when playing anything on the Wii U. Because uh, still, I haven't played too many games with gyro controls for just so long, it feels like, too. But gyro controls, I gotta say, when done correctly, so good. That's why I feel bad that, like, I haven't really played the uh, Super Mario Galaxy 3D All-Stars version, because I believe that you actually have gyros in that. Like, in order to point at the screen where the Star Bits tracker would go, just to grab it all of the various fantastical star bits that you they ever did see but um yeah pretty good to try out anyway i think that that's pretty much all that this uh level was uh, to have oh wait a second has there been like a secret chest this entire time in like all of these areas if there has that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because I do not have a way of getting up there, I don't think. Unless I can use the power of magnesis. No. Like, that's the thing, is like, uh... That's, that's why you don't kill your jellies before they... hatch. <laughs> anyway. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder how many of these uh, levels there actually are. I'm gonna say at least like five, right? <laughs> Maybe ten, but I'm already at floor four. I think I'm doing pretty well so far. It only takes a little bit of... Uh-oh. Alerting uh, the natural inhabitants. That's, that's the goal here. Ah! I forgot that you could jump. Okay. It's it's been a while since I've played this game. But here we go. You sir. This is very dangerous. I don't think oh he understands how intense this combat really could have been. But uh do, do. Yes! <laughs> Exactly what I wanted. Ugh. Well, at least that might have scared some other Bokoblin. I wonder if I could uh, somehow bring this with me. Actually, I have another idea. 
It's just to, to scare them off with that, but uh, then I'm going to try to stasis this. I, I have a feeling that this is just going to blow up uh, on impact, but, I mean, it is worth a try. Uh-oh. Let, let's just see that. I think that might be good enough. But just in case... Oh, <laughs> Like, I, I wish I actually had more of those barrels, because this is like a minigame of just, like, blasting barrels off of a uh, very tall wooden structure skyscraper. That's, that's what these uh, Bokoblins think of it as, if nothing else. This is their version of a skyscraper. Um, but yeah, that, that is too bad. It's uh, gonna be the, the next thing that uh, sweeps the nation, though. You better believe it. But Coblin Bowling. But from like a sniper perch. Doesn't have a very nice ring to it yet, but the, no the name will be changing. And then eventually it just doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's just the way that a lot of projects seem to go nowadays. Oh boy. This is actually... A bit, uh, dangerous. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know why this is a good idea, but it really is. <laughs> yeah. I, I should probably find where that, uh, Bacoblin landed. Because I, I kind of need some weapons here. Pretty badly. That's the whole reason why I went off the, er, the biggest one first. Well, that and also it's just, it's just a natural, uh, idea to do, though, right? No. <laughs> it just works just barely. Yep. These bombs are actually really strong. Ah, oh, here we go. Spiked Boko Bat. This is what, uh, the big guns were asking for. The big guns being Link. That's, that's what he's named. Don't wear it out. Mr. Big Guns Link. Um... But yeah, like, I think it was something... I want to say, like, Microsoft. They... The way that the Xbox Series X probably was... Uh-oh. Ooh! Uh, designed is that they, they probably had a... Ooh! A, a naming convention session. And, uh, they had uh, believed that it would be the greatest name and that they would also change it later but it's still the greatest name of course at the, at the time and then it just never got changed uh but yeah where did the uh other very fancy spiky boko bat go cuz i kind of actually i might just break these down <laughs> oh. I didn't. I didn't expect it. Tree branches. They're they're good enough at breaking barrels. Ah, fun. Hey, bananas. That's actually gonna save me. Also, maybe I should uh, start finding, or just hope to find a campfire. Ooh, soldier shield. No, oh, this is more like it. Soldier's broadsword. I think that uh, I might just make it pretty th easily through this now. Although I don't know if it, it just keeps going on forever. That's that's the thing. Link secretly uh, discovered the, the world's most intense pit of uh, an infinite trials. It, it sounds like a horrifying thing because it is. And it shouldn't be possible. But... Yeah, I might just need to wait until I find a place to cook with, because I'm assuming that they're probably going to, like... Oh, here's a, a, a little cooking area after every five rounds. Cook up your favorite dish today. And uh, then, of course, Link just smothers a bunch of uh, apples all over his chest, and uh, like that's the end of the infomercial. <laughs> Best infomercial of the year, though, of course.
Underground, Floor 5. Beginning Trials. Yeah, I have a feeling these are gonna go on forever. Might need to just like climb a tree, actually. These guys will never understand. Then I just jump on top of his head or something. Although, all things considered, I should probably just be bombing a lot more of these guys. So, yeah, that didn't work very well. I was hoping to dodge at perfect timing, but... Just standing, oh no, a quarter of a centimeter away from him. And hoping for the best. Um, uh-oh. Yeah, th these guys, I'm not entirely sure what I should do, actually, to fight them. Ooh. Drop it! There we go. Moblin clubs for days. I probably should just be using better weapons now on these uh, big, strong, uh, frightening ones. Because, yeah, all things considered... I'm not entirely sure how much longer this will be, so you just use the best weapons available, I think. Because they're probably going to eventually throw more than you could ever need or hope to even imagine. And I can imagine the Master Sword being thrown at me. I have one in the uh, side of my room here. Be terrifying. Okay, here we go. Let's see if... Uh, ooh! A good old bomb is gonna frighten him. Oh, actually, this guy's a spear. Uh oh, that's not so nice. I'm really hoping that I actually have the ability to regain my health here. Wait a second. Oh. Let's just hope the Dark Souls uh, gaming that I've played pays off. Because I need all of the luck here. So that I just can do this in one try. There we go. These spiked Boko Bats. I kind of want to, like, throw... Actually, oh, bombs. Bombs are just too useful. Ugh. That and this. Oh boy. <laughs> it's so terrifying that I'm losing my voice. Ugh. Here we go. I have a feeling... Oh no. <clears throat> I have a feeling that there are probably more uh, random chests around, but I haven't been looking for them. Oh man. See, the real troll would be if they, uh, for some reason gave you, like, uh, like a shrine orb, <laughs> like a spirit orb, just from, uh, like, going through here in in a chest, so then it just, like, screws you over. It's, it's just like the, uh, good old-fashioned, uh, like, oh, it's seared steak. Wait, roasted lotus seeds? Yeah, I don't think I've gotten those ones before. But, uh, the good old-fashioned... Would you believe if I actually forgot what I was saying there? This, this Link... has... It's no thoughts, heads empty music. That's, that's his favorite kind of playlist right there. Oh man, I can't believe I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Like, that's the problem of being just slightly too to ADHD sometimes. Like, a little bit of ADHD is a good thing, I, I usually think, but uh, when you just are like mid-sentence and you're just like, oh, look at this fancy thing. Seared Lotus, I've never seen that before. You know, then uh, it's not always the most useful, but... Yeah, it's too bad that I haven't found any uh, place to grill my meat yet. Oh yeah, well, it's supposed to be like the randomizer. That's what I was talking about, wasn't I? Because <laughs> uh, Zelda randomizer, but Breath of the Wild edition. Make it so, hacker people. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm assuming this is a boss one. 
I, I was just spilling water all over myself trying to get a drink of water. I, I just assumed that uh, this boss was just going to kill me. I'm just going to take a brief water break. Okay. I think it's time to meet my match. This might be really bad, actually. Because, um... Actually, wait, if I... What if I just uh, attack him using the power of magnetism? It might not be a bad idea, actually. Or maybe... Well... If I'm gonna be doing this thing, I might as well divinity uh, ify it. <laughs> Which, the thing to do if you ever play Divinity Original Sin 1 or 2... Uh, they're both really good games. Uh, oh no! Uh, it's, a, it's, it's set up uh, for a, a bit of environmental trap, but I didn't think he was just gonna pop out of the ground like that. <laughs> oh man. At least my arrows are probably gonna work pretty well on this guy. I don't think I want to get anywhere oh, near this thing though. This great stone talus. Actually, I think it might be time to go over to, um, grabbing the electronical fancy magnetism machines, also known as magnets. How do they work? Addition. Um, here we go. This is such a bad idea. Oh. Although, it's a very good defensive tool. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, it's doing like no damage to me. I wasn't expecting that. Uh oh. I might just need to knock him down a, a peg or two. On. Gotta be careful with my shots here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not so good. Any smart ideas as I'm running away dying? Uh. Well, I just smashed a box at his face, if nothing else. But I think that it didn't anger him too badly. I think I'm probably good. Ah, this is such a bad idea. I'm moving away. It's like I'm overly. Well, maybe not overly, but I mean, I'm pretty invested in this boss fight at this point and really don't want to die. Okay. I don't think I should be any greedier than that. I know Dark Souls. Like, that's the thing, is, like, I've been wanting to play Dark Souls a lot lately. I've just been constantly thinking about it. Well, maybe not constantly, but, I mean... Maybe, maybe every, like... Every 30 seconds. <laughs> like, that would be, like, an intense amount of OCD that I don't think I would even be able to be doing. That would be very unhealthy. Anyway. That's how you do it. <laughs> by by thinking about just random disorders. That's that's the only way. What's the next one? Mr. Stone Talus. I bet you didn't expect that. Well by him. Right into there. Anyway. <laughs> Cool guys don't look at explosions, right? Um, I think there's pretty much no other uh, things around here other than just like arrows. Hmm. Because like they all were just falling out of the boxes around here, but like that's the thing is like I haven't been getting any secret chests around. Let's just hope that the next round doesn't involve me dying immediately, but there's at least something that I can cook using. Oh, see, this is looking nice. Underground floor seven. Oh, floor seven is the, the lucky floor of happiness. 
Oh, man, there's razor shrooms? Oh, no. And this is like the uh, let's make a deal uh, chest game here. Shield of the mind's eye. I don't think I really need more shields, though, necessarily. Eightfold blade, that's uh, pretty nice, just in general. But I have a feeling there's probably going to be like another, like, it must go at least a ten, right? Uh, serpentine spear. But uh, I'm hoping it goes to like, just only eleven. Then it can be a reference. Nah, no, it really doesn't matter, but I just, I don't know. These... Oh, I, I needed that, I needed that fairy. That's not good. Oh well, but, uh, yeah, like, that's, that's mostly what I'm worried about, is just, like, getting really far into the rounds and then just horribly dying. So, yeah. This is also the best way of doing it. Just grabbing some apples by jumping. There we go. Hello there, fishies. Armored carp. Yeah, there's just a lot dealing with armor. So that's that's probably gonna help either way, but it was kinda cool just like going through this first little area uh, to the point where I can just come in here and just like restock and uh, start my uh, greatest cooking show that uh, anyone's ever seen. Uh, not a good time to sit. Okay. But when? When is a good time to sit? Um, I think I've pretty much cleared out this area. Other oh, that's really good. Other than my cooking. I did just say about d dying. <laughs> oh no. If I have to do these again, I'm going to be very upset. There must have been a save somewhere in there, right? Or am I supposed to manually save, like, after each floor? I probably should, all things considered. And it was like it never happened. Oh, boy. I might need to just, like, do this another day. <laughs> That's a bit demoralizing now, isn't it? But, like, all things considered, I mean, <laughs> still, that was, that was a lot of fun. Just uh, kind of uh, going through there and uh, causing the death of myself uh, very uh, easily and readily. <laughs> and quickly, actually, uh, in, in a safe area, how about? Oh, boy. Well, they didn't say that the Trial of the Sword was going to be uh, foolproof, idiot-proof, and uh, mistake-proof. Because mistakes are always partially recommended. I don't know, it makes things more interesting, uh, all things considered. Because that is the way things go. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of rambling on because I think that, yeah, as, as I'm alluding to, that's going to be it for now. <laughs> And uh, next time I am going to go through that again, or just go and finish the Gerudo area. Because that's probably a better option if I'm screwing things up uh, that horribly. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, my little silly distraction slash detour. And uh, I'll see you next time for that, possibly. Goodbye for...